All right, I finally got my video done ranking all 33 Dr. Squatch soaps. Link to that video will be on the outro. It should be a while before Squatch releases another. Well, that didn't take long. All right, so Squatch just released their 34th soap in their catalog, and I've got it right here ready to open and give a sniff test. But before doing that, I want to give a shout out to Little Mac JTV for sending me this bar of soap. If you haven't checked out his channel, he does a ton of reviews, mostly soap among other things, and he does a lot of giveaways. I've gotten a couple bars of soap from his channel. So go over there and check him out and consider subscribing and hopefully you can win something. Okay, so I like coconut, but when I first learned of this scent, my guess is that it's probably going to be pretty underwhelming. Coconut has a nice, subtle, sweet taste, but not much of a smell. But let's go ahead and get this thing open. I'll give it the sniff test, and then I'll test it out in the shower and let you know what I think of it afterwards. It actually smells stronger than I expected. Pull it out. Coconut castaway. Nice packaging. I like the nice teal color. All right, so I have not yet sniffed this, so this will be my first impression right here. It's probably not going to smell much different from the <laughs> from the bag. Go ahead and give it a try. Yep, it's self-explanatory. It smells like coconut. It's a pretty decent smell. Get it open. Pull it out. Mm. It looks it looks like birch wood breeze. <laughs> but but it doesn't smell like birch wood breeze. <laughs> I've smelled this a few times now and there's a distinct scent in addition to the coconut. I think <laughs> I think it smells like rubber. It, it has a, a rubber scent. It smells like coconut rubber. Now, the cover says that it actually has coconut shreds. And I can attest to that because this fell off the soap. <laughs> yeah, the texture is nice, but it really does feel like whenever you rub it, whenever you touch it, like, like coconut shreds are just going to fall off of it. I don't know, this scent is a little odd. The coconut is pretty good, but like I said, it smells like there's a rubber scent with it or something. And it smells a little odd. Maybe they should have named this coconut rubber. <laughs> so I am making an absolute mess right now here on my desk from all of these coconut shavings or whatever that keep falling off. It's like this bar is shedding. <laughs> the texture feels nice, but it just feels like it's shredding. Like, look at my hand. Look at all those coconut shreds all over it. And here, you can even see on top of the soap here, there looks like a coconut shred right around there. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a bad feeling about this one. But like I said, the scent usually alters in the shower. So I'll see if it smells better after I use it in the shower. But I'm actually afraid it's going to be the opposite. And it's actually going to start stinking after I lather it up. So I'll go ahead and use it in the shower. But before I do that, I'll read the ingredients off to you real quick. All right, we've got saponified oils of olive, sustainable palm, coconut, natural fragrances. <laughs> I wonder if the fragrance is rubber. <laughs> Shea butter, coconut shreds. Yeah, we saw that. Coconut milk, coconut water, titanium dioxide, kaolin clay, and sea salt. And this one is Light Grit, which is actually the first in the entire Dr. Squatch catalog to have a light grit grade. So now Dr. Squatch will have grit grades of zero, light, medium, or heavy. 
the texture is pretty nice on this one it's just that whenever you touch it it keeps falling apart <laughs> I'm afraid when I lather it up in the shower it's gonna fall into about a hundred pieces or so so I'll go ahead and test it out in the shower we'll see how it holds up and how it smells afterwards my hands are so sticky right now like I don't think my hands have ever gotten sticky from touching one of these Dr. Squatch bars of soap but it's really sticky it's so sticky that I don't even want to touch my mouse to stop this recording I literally just put on a latex glove to touch my mouse so I can stop the video while I go take a shower that's how sticky my hand is right now so I can only imagine how sticky I'm gonna be after I use it in the shower all right we are back and I am putting on this latex glove as I handle the soap so I wrapped it up and dried it off as best as I could and I'm about to put it back in the box so that I can have my hand back but before I did that I wanted to show how it looked and it held up pretty well it smells basically the same maybe a tad stronger but not really the bar in general is pretty strong but not overly powerful it's right in the middle it's less subtle than I originally thought it was going to be so here we can take one last look at it before I put it back in the box it didn't fall apart into a hundred pieces like I was afraid of and it lathers really well so that's a good thing and as you can see that shred of coconut that was there before I used in the shower is actually still there so it didn't fall off like I thought it was going to the smell is pretty good and actually that rubber scent I don't notice it nearly as much now so that's really good it is smelled kind of like a chemical in a way let me go ahead and put it back in the box so that I can take this glove off all right I've got my hand back now so yeah after using it in the shower it does smell a little better than before because like I said I don't notice that rubbery scent anymore and that was probably my biggest concern about the soap even more so than all of the shreds falling all over the place but like I said it didn't do that too much in the shower I, I don't know why it does it when it's dry and you rub on it and all of the shreds fall out but when you actually use it in the shower and have water running all over it it stays intact so I don't know it did hold up pretty well better than I thought it was going to now as of now I'm not sure if this is limited edition or if they actually plan to add this to the catalog full time it doesn't say limited edition on the package so that would seem to me that it indicates that it's actually going to be a full time bar and that's fine if they want to add new original scents to the catalog but before you do that you really need to add drunken pumpkin and Irish cream and whiskey full time because those are two of your most popular scents in the entire catalog so it makes no sense for you not to sell them on a full time basis so yeah this is pretty good I think it's actually better since I lathered it up in the shower yep they were not lying when they said there were literal coconut shreds in this soap yep these fell onto my desk so would I recommend coconut castaway it just depends what you like if you like your soap to shred and fall apart then this one's highly recommended if you want your hands to be sticky after touching the soap then this is definitely the one for you but in all seriousness it just depends what you like if you love coconut then I definitely recommend you try this but if you're not a big fan of coconut then you probably won't like this one and you should probably choose another scent out of the Dr. Squatch catalog and on another note before I close this out I wanted to turn some of my viewers onto another soap company Sudsy Bear that seems to be just as good as Squatch if not better the biggest difference is they haven't spent tons of money on advertising the way that Squatch has. I had not even heard of Sudsy Bear until I caught a review on Little Mac JTV's channel. So like I said earlier, if you want to keep up with the best soaps, you should definitely go subscribe to him because he will keep you in the loop. And if you haven't heard of Sudsy Bear, go to their site. I'll leave a link in the description. 
The first bar Sudsy Bear tried was blueberries and cream, and it was amazing. I'd say even better than most of the Dr. Squatch soaps. So I am really looking forward to trying all of the other Sudsy Bear soaps. I just got a bundle of other Sudsy Bear soaps and will be comparing them with Dr. Squatch in a video soon. Sudsy Bear currently has 30 soaps in their catalog and I plan to get all 30 of them soon and do a mini review for all of them as well as do a rankings video from worst to best like I did with Dr. Squatch. I'll leave a link on the outro for my current Dr. Squatch rankings as well as a link to a Sudsy Bear review. And be on the lookout for more upcoming reviews from Sudsy Bear on my channel. So that's about it for this video. Have you tried Coconut Castaway yet? And if you have, let us know in the comments what you think about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to help the algorithm. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.